You've got to tune to KEXP, listener-powered radio at 90.3 FM in Seattle, online around the world at kexp.org. I'm Cheryl Waters, and so excited to have back into the studio James Blake. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So nice to see you again. Yeah, you too. You've got an exciting new album out, and I'm excited to hear some new songs. Yeah, well, we're excited to play them. Why don't we start with a couple, and uh, then we'll catch up. Okay. That is how it is I don't want to be a star But a stone on the shore Long door frame in a wall When everything's overgrown But what she really wanted Was my rights and my own and I wouldn't understand But I would try to play alone And I want you to know I took it with me That when things are thrown away Like they are daily Time passes and they're constant stay Or if that is how it is I don't want to be a star But a stone on the shore Long door frame in a wall When everything's overgrown But what she really wanted Was my rights and my wrongs and I wouldn't understand But I would try to play along And I want you to know I took it with me That when things are thrown away Like they are daily Time passes and the constant stay Or if that is how it is I don't want to be a star But a stone on the shore Long door frame in the wall When everything's overgrown But what she really wanted Was my right to But I would try to play along And I wouldn't understand But I would try to play along And I wouldn't understand But I would try to play along And I want you to know I took it with me That when things are thrown away like they are daily Time passes and they constant stay Time passes and they constant stay Time passes and they constant stay Time passes and they constant stay
So nice. James Blake live on KEXP. How about another one? Sure. Let's go to the last. James Blake live on KEXP with songs from the new album Overgrown Tonight playing the Neptune Theater here in Seattle. And again, it's such a pleasure to see all of you live in studio today. Thank you so much for coming back. Yeah, thanks for having us. Last time you were here in this studio was the first time you'd ever done a radio session. I imagine there have been many of those since between then and now. 
And uh, how does how does it feel to uh, have an album that has been so anticipated? I was telling my coworker today that you were coming in. He's like, "Oh, that's right. He's a biggie. You must be so excited." And I am, but you know, such a such a um, great excitement for the new record. Yeah, I mean, we've been really lucky. We've had so much support. Um, we've had radio play, which I didn't expect. Um, you know, even for tunes like. You know things I didn't expect to be played on radio, and and um, people are into it. The, the crowds are going for the new tunes, and yeah, I mean, couldn't be better really. But we're we're glad to be able to come here back, come back here and play it all again. I was actually surprised that you had a new album out. I felt in my mind so soon, and then I realized that James Blake came out in 2011. It really yeah. feels like it's gone fast for me. <laughs> I can, as only someone who listens to the album, how has it felt for you this last couple of years? Well, I suppose that mean it lasted in some ways. Um, it just felt like a complete um, a world of extremes for the last few years, I think, just from, you know, being on tour and just, you know, going at it and all that stuff. And then, you know, the shows in front of lots of people and then, you, you know, you're meeting lots of people and, you know, so it is a bit of a whirlwind, but then it all just came to a grinding halt where I wanted just, I just wanted to write and then that was complete isolation again. So it's kind of like the world just flips upside down. Were you able time. to isolate yourself to write the songs for Overgrown, or did you kind of have to write them on the road, since you, or some of them at least, since you spent so much time touring on the last record? Um, yeah, no, I got, I got time. I got time. We, I mean, you know, like you said, it has actually been quite a long time. So we did some touring. We did a year pretty much full stop, uh, non-stop, but after that, you know, I really just stayed at home and, and worked on stuff. Well, tell me about the new record. It's definitely um, has lots of uh, sounds from the first record, but it's a very different record. And I imagine two years of touring and meeting people, and there mm -hmm. are some exciting people that are involved in the record, um, you mm -hmm. know, contributed to that. But tell me from your perspective how Overgrown feels for you and maybe how you uh, set out. Uh, it was just a journey in writing, trying to write songs, um, really. Uh, it's almost an exercise in writing songs for me. Um, where I'm kind of showing my workings uh, because I still haven't arrived at a place where I want to write kind of conventional pop songs, but I think the, the songs on this record um, kind of catch the ear in a way that my previous songwriting kind of hadn't, um, it, you know, from an even technical perspective, you know, regardless of being, um, you know, objective about it. It just, I don't know, some of the songs are, you know, I can't, don't know how to put that into words. Well, it's hard to put it into words, I imagine. And I heard that Overgrown, the title track, was inspired by Joni Mitchell. I know that you covered one of her mm -hmm. songs on an EP. Did um, you? I heard you recently got a chance to meet her, or maybe not so recently. Yeah, no, no, it was recently. Um, I mean, especially in the sort of cycle of, you know, the years. I mean, I, I kind of, I, I do think of things in, in a, on a much broader time scale now. Um, in dance music, everything seems to move in, in weeks. Um, and on the internet, everything moves in minutia of, of seconds, you know, or whatever. Um, but it, the, what touring and, and my, and having an actual slight, you know, even the, my small career so far, I've kind of been able to like look at things over a longer period of time. And so meeting Joni kind of, you know, that I'll keep that with me probably for a long, you know, forever, but, it, but. It doesn't seem, it just seems like yesterday, really. And what was that like? How did that inspire you? <clears throat> um, it, just in, in lots of ways, uh, lyrically. Um, it's, there's a, you know, meeting people like that, although there's no really, nobody really like her, but meeting people who really have mastered what they do and they're at the top of their game. You do, you, um, and the same with Brian Eno. There's a, an air of calm and an air of, um, you know, you can do what you want and, and get away with it. And it really does feel like getting away with it. And it seemed like that to those people as well. Like they hadn't lost that novelty of, you know. It's so exciting that you got to meet Joni and that you worked with Brian Eno and then someone as diverse as RZA also collaborated yeah. on this yeah. album as well. Yeah, I mean, that was a that was funny. We just sent him a, a beat really. And, and uh, he, he didn't just check in, you know, he really, he really came, came with it, I think. 
Well, you've really came with it on the album. It's called Overgrown, and I'm itching to hear some more music live from James Blake. And it's uh, great to see you with Ben and Rob. Thank you all so much for coming in today and playing tonight at the Neptune Theater. to know about my dreams I to know about my dream anymore All that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling Might as well fall in I to know about my life I don't know about my loving anymore All that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling What is what I'm falling I don't know about my dreams I don't know about my dreaming anymore all that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling Might as well falling I don't know about my love I don't know about my loving anymore All that I know is It's turning, turning, turning Turning, but as well turning. I don't know about my dreams. I don't know about my loving anymore. All that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling. I don't know about my love I don't know about my loving anymore All that I know is It's turning, 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 turning What is what it's turning I don't know about my dreams I don't know about my dreams anymore All that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling What is what I'm falling? I don't know about my love
hard to know about my dream anymore. All that I know is I'm falling, 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 falling. Might as well falling. I don't know about my life. I don't know about my loving anymore. All that I know is is turning, 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 turning. Might as well turning. It's James Blake live on KEXP. I never get tired of that song. I could hear it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Got one more? Yeah, we have. It's called Retrograde. Thank you. 
Breathtakingly gorgeous. It's James Blake live in studio on KEXP. Thank you all so much. That sounded amazing. Thank you. And the new album, Overgrown, equally gorgeous. And tonight, this band playing at the Neptune Theater. I hope you return soon. Love the new album. Me too. Thank you. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle.